Hello and welcome to the Data Pipeline and Storage Manager. Um, today I want to show you a bit uh, what this project is about. So first we go to the project description. Um, our goal was to develop a cloud native pipelining service that um, facilitates the analysis and the management of, the, of certain project data. We store this data in storage buckets. They, these are Amazon S3 storage buckets and we want to show the insights or the results for, from, from our pipelines in a data, database and the raw data is stored in the storage bucket. Uh, the management part is, do we, is done in the front end for the data pipelines, the data files and the runs. And of course we want to show this to the end users. The project architecture is currently as follows. As the front end, we have an Angular web front end that accepts user inputs, file uploads and downloads and also shows different kinds of uh, lists for our objects. The server is our main um, secret store and it has um, it holds all our business logic it um, connects to the MongoDB and basically this is also our result and object store. Uh, for the data pipelining tool we have the Apache Airflow. It holds all the data pipelines and executes them, reruns them and it also sends the results back to the server. And at least we have an S3 bucket in Amazon which we use as file storage. Our project requirements were that we um, allow in the front end allow data uploads and pipeline selections for the different runs. The user can upload search data, control the pip pipeline and see its status. The backend should orchestrate all the software components, it should handle the data flow and access control and storage handling. For the data pipeline itself, it should support various data types, prioritizing for, for the first things CSV files and compound files. And also it should be possible to add different ETL solutions for the data pipelines. So now we go and um, show a live demo of the front end. So this is our front end. Here we can see the home page. It's pretty simple. We have um, yeah, some links, some to our Git repository to the most important um, to the most important components of our um, project. On the left we have the data pack, data assets. These are our files that we that we can store here in the um, in the S3 buckets and also we can directly start the pip data pipelines. The data pipelines are our selection in, uh, in Airflow. Here we can see we have these few, few data pipelines which uh, we can run. And the runs are showing uh, an overview of the runs. We have the results here and we can also um, search for them for the input for example or for the volume count and for the word count we can search for the results so now let's try to run a quick um, we go here start a quick data pipeline here in the runs we can see it here we have uh, our queue run cute 
and if you wait for a, for a few minutes few seconds we have the word vowel count yeah that was so much for this project uh, i hope you liked it very quick overview thank you until then <laughs>